guys, I'm Dr. Lauren. And I'm Dr. Eloise. We are from Vital Health Chiropractic here in Lara, and today we want to talk all about pillows and neck pain. We want to talk to you about neck pain and pillows today because it was found that in Australia, about 50% of us will experience neck pain at some point in our lives. Now, for most people, it was found that with conservative management of the neck pain, so things like chiro, osteo, physio, the pain would resolve between six to eight weeks time. Um, but for about 30% of people, this neck pain would actually turn into chronic neck pain. And so there are some things that we can consider to help manage something like chronic neck pain and making sure you have um, the right pillow mm -hmm. and the right mattress are one of such things. And there are lots more things that we will talk about down the track to help manage neck pain in the form of exercises, you know, both mobilization and strengthening. But for today, stay tuned because we are going to go through finding the perfect pillow. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we are back again, and I've got um, what we use here are Oliel pillows. Now, there are lots of pillow brands out there. It doesn't mean that you're limited to one. The reason we do love this is it actually is Australian owned and made, which is always a plus. But what you're looking for in your pillow is a contour like this. And what that does is it gives better support under the neck. Now you'll notice on this one, there's two different sizes. So one's a little bit lower, one's a little bit higher. And that's because depending on the position we sleep in, you might require a little more or a little less support. So if you are laying on your back, you might be better laying on the lower side uh, so it doesn't push your neck forward. And if you are laying on your side, you might find you need a little bit more through that side of the neck and shoulder so that you don't end up all squashed together or also not that it's too high as well and pushing your neck up. So there are a few things that we need to look out for. So we will uh, demonstrate and show you exactly what you're looking for. All right, guys, back again, and we have Dr. Eloise helping out uh, by laying on the pillow here. Now, keep in mind that a chiropractic table is not as soft as your mattress might be, but you're going to get the gist of what we're looking for. So in this one, you can see that I've got Eloise on her back um, on the lower side of what you could see on the pillow before, and her chin is perfectly neutral here. Now, we would know if this pillow was too high because what would happen is her head would lift up, so you would get that chin poking a little bit forward. In the same way, we know it was too low because it might tilt her a little bit more backwards, so her chin would go up in the other direction. So this one is actually perfect for her. Now, if I got Eloise to roll to her side, I think what we would find is that she could actually benefit from a higher pillow. So if you roll to your side now, Eloise, side? Uh, it doesn't matter, probably this way. <laughs> What you'll notice here is that Eloise is nice and straight here and you can see a tiny little bit of a dip there. That's okay. That's just from this part of the table. But what I may need to do in this scenario is actually lift things up a little bit for her and we'll see which side might suit her better. And now we actually see that she is a little bit straighter through her back. So this size pillow here is a lot more supportive for her neck and her shoulder. So she's not going to squash and um, scrunch her shoulder up and then wake up a little bit stiff on that side here. Um, so this is what you need to look at. Is your pillow so high that it's pushing your neck into a different direction? Is your chin in neutral when you're on your back? Um, and overall, are you just getting the support that you feel you need? And what we find is that most people actually have a pillow that's too high for their neck. So grab a few pillows at home and have a try of this and get somebody to help and have a look at the position of your neck. And if you're not sure, um, then we can help out with that, absolutely. Hopefully you were able to pick up some really good tips and tricks from Dr. Lauren about how to check your own pillow at home and see if it's the right fit for you or whether it may be too high or too low. Now, as we mentioned before, it's known that about 50% of the population will experience neck pain at some point in their lives, which is just such a crazy high number. And there's so many factors that may either be contributing to or causing neck pain, things such as posture or the activities that we do or weakness in muscles, things like that, 
pillars is one of the important ones because we spend such a significant part of each day in bed and asleep. It's so important to have a pillar that is supporting your neck in the best way possible. So if you would like to come into our clinic and have a pillow assessment, or even just call up and ask us a few questions about your own pillow, feel free to give us a call. The number will appear at the bottom of the screen. So happy checking your pillows and have a great day. Bye.